Hey guys, today I want to talk about this particular card. Uh, this card is, people are very hyped, very excited, uh, and I want to talk about it in terms of foils and where I see this card. This card is a $60 foil in the future. Uh, maybe it's $60 right now. I haven't checked this price, but assuming it's not $60. As a foil, this card is an absolute bonkers ED8 it is exactly what EDH players want. I've talked to EDH players and all they can think about is how to build this deck. I don't particularly take uh, play EDH that much, but I can I get it. I get why this card is good. It's not difficult to do that. Uh, but now I'm going to talk about what is the best time to pick up a card like this, which is probably not going to see standard play. Like, I think Gideon will definitely see standard play. I would be shocked if he didn't. Drainer, I'm less... I don't know, it could be yes or no for her. I'm definitely gonna try her out. I think she is worth uh, playing in my particular, in my white black tokens deck. But this card, first of all, there's, you know, there's, there's the regular one, there's the foil one, and then there's the ED, there's the pre-release one. I want to kind of explain where I see pre-release promos going. Pre-release promos are much rarer than, because it, it used to be, Everyone got the same promo. Then it got to the point where everyone gets a promo that you can get in the box. But now you can get promos of any card. So if we were just doing mono colors like M15, it would be impossible to get this promo in the box, I assume, and then pre-release kit because it's red and green and you're either red or green. So, but now the fact that you can get any promo in a pre-release kit, that is extremely interesting to me, uh, mainly because they are much, much more rare than their counterpart, especially if a ton of that stuff is going to be open. And I can assume, I can only assume that people who normally buy boxes, they are buying cases. People who are normally buying cases are buying multiple cases. People who are buying multiple cases are buying something called a pallet. So my actual friend I met at the pre-release, he's going to open 1,200 booster packs. And normally I don't, he doesn't buy that much. And he wants to expeditions, he wants to pull them, and hopefully we can get a few of them on camera. But when you look at it, the pre-release copy, there's only a set number of them. There's not that many of them out there. So if you're pimping out your deck and you want the most, I mean, the pre-release stamp, in my opinion, doesn't look good. I'll just throw that out there, but that's my personal opinion. People can have different opinions. But if you wanted the least common set version of that particular card, you are going to need this, the pre-release edition. Because there's no way there's going to be more pre-release editions than there are foil regular set ones. Uh, and it's quite crazy. It is a very, very crazy in my opinion. And I don't know, I like it. I love the fact that they have done pre-releases this way and I hope they continue. But when you have something like an EDH general and there will be that one person who really wants the most uncommon version of it. And that I, I, I believe that version is going to be the pre-release version.